On today's episode, we remove the center stand on the Honda CB750K in order to fit this Mac four into one weathered haggard looking exhaust pipe, but we're gonna make it awesome. Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Mike Barker, and on this channel I do a lot of motorcycle, car, modification, maintenance, adventure stuff. So if you're into any of that, please consider subscribing. On today's episode though, we're working on the Honda CB750K, but the first thing I gotta do is move this bike. I've gotta get rid of the center stand because the original exhaust had a stop for it that when the center stand sprung back up into the away position. It prevented the center stand from making connection with the drive chain. If you look really closely right here, it's dragging. So we're gonna pull that off. So to get the kickstand off, first I'm going to undo this bolt. There's one on either side of the kickstand mount. So you have to use a 12 mil socket on one end and a wrench on the other, or two wrenches, whatever you wanna do. What I'll do is I'll make sure that I put this hardware all back with the kickstand. So if I want to put the kickstand back on, I can, and I'll have all the original hardware. Ooh, these have never come off, I don't think. Look at all that grime. I should probably clean this, shouldn't I? Now, on this side, there's a drain hose for what I'm going to guess is for like the battery overflow or the air box overflow. But because there is a bracket here for that tube, I am gonna put this bolt back in so that it doesn't flop around or anything. Although, I'm gonna check it out. I might be able to delete this, but if not, I'll just fast it in place with the bolt once I've got the center stand out. There's a rod that the center stand pivots on that goes through this way, and it actually comes in from this side and goes all the way through. And because it does that, there's a flange on this side, keeps it from going all the way through. On the other side, there's a cotter pin holding it in place. So I gotta cut that and then I'll drive this out. And I'm not actually gonna cut this, I just bent the tabs back around and then I'll push the pin through. There we go. All right. I found that I couldn't remove the spring on the other side, so I'm hoping that when I get this rod through here that this will loosen up or... And there we go. And then we can just and the spring mechanism, slide it off all together. All right, so there you go. The pivot pin for the center stand is out. Center stand is removed. There's a couple things that I noticed right off the bat. This um, tube is probably just gonna be shortened up so it's tucked out of the way. And then the drain tubes for the carburetors, what I'll probably do with those is tie them together neatly and just secure them so that they're not flapping around when I'm driving down the road. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I have a terrible, terrible memory. Terrible, like a goldfish. What? Oh, hey. No, anyway, terrible memory. So every part that I'm taking off this bike, I'm gonna put in a plastic Ziploc baggie and write out what it is. That way, my terrible memory won't be able to let me down because I'll have a nice reminder. CB750K kickstand. Oh, center stand. So, in the event that I need to do an oil change, where could I possibly put this so that it's quick to get at, easy to reach? Hmm. Ah. Always have your most desirable sized handy dandy screws sorted in a very convenient manner. There we go. That'll work, that'll work. I went ahead and put the exhaust manifold back on because now that I've got the kickstand out of the way, what I want to do is find a better way to secure this exhaust system. So right now I have some copper exhaust gaskets in the four ports. I've got the exhaust in and I've got the flanges snugged up pretty good by hand. I haven't killed them and crushed them on there, but I've got it pretty well in position where I think it needs to be. And what I'm going to do is find somewheres to weld a tab on to support the rest of the weight of the exhaust. Up front, we're good with the flanges, but the pipe dangling out the back, not so much. 
So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we did on Jay's CB550 Cafe Racer project in order to make the bracket to support the rest of his exhaust system. So what we did was right here where the factory foot peg mount would have been for the rider, we made a bracket that actually goes in between the engine casing and the this gusset on the frame here. There's a spacer there from the factory on his bike. So basically what we did was we machined down the spacer to accept the width of the bracket that we welded onto his exhaust. So I'm gonna see if I can do something similar on my bike over here. So I think this is probably gonna be the same setup. I've already looked underneath the bike and there is an engine bolt that carries right across here. The weight is supported further up by another set of brackets though. So I'm good to spin this foot peg off and push that bolt out and see what we can make for a bracket to support this terrible, terrible looking exhaust. I promise I'm gonna make this look nicer, I promise. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to show you exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to describe though, and this camera may not fit underneath to show you what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's try. Turn on the power of a thousand exploding suns here. <laughs> Way brighter in real life. Okay, so this is gonna kind of work. So basically, here's the... I frigged up. It definitely wasn't a washer in there or a spacer. It was just a boss that was on the frame of the bike. So that spots out. All this is gonna go back together. But I think I have a backup plan for how to secure the back end of this pipe. Okay, this is how this bracket is gonna go. Just like this. You can see where it's gonna tack to the exhaust pipe. You put the bolt through right here, should be good. Gotta go ahead and open up this bracket a little bit first though. Oh, how am I gonna hold that? Hmm. I'm sure the guy at Ichiban Moto would be proud of this. Use your high precision Ichiban Moto vice. High performance, high precision. Not quite. Perfect. Okay, time to get the pipe off, clean it up a little bit, make it weld. All right, I've already gone and cleaned up the little bracket that I made. So next up is gonna be mounting this pipe to this little stool that I have here, and then finding, or just sitting it like that, apparently, and then finding some way to hold this right here so I can make this weld. Just went and put a little radius in this just so that it sits on the pipe a little tighter. Looking pretty good. Sorry Jay, use your mini grinder. Like I said, I'm not the best welder. It's ugly, but it's not falling off. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's episode. So what did we get done? We got the center stand off, mounted on the wall back there. We got our little tab melt, our tab melted on. I got my tab melted on my exhaust pipe. We got it welded on. 
We learned how not to mount your exhaust on a CB750K first, and then we got it all figured out. Hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. If you did, please hit the subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell for the notifications. And don't forget, smash that like button. It really does help out a lot. It actually helps expose me more to other people who are interested in cool stuff like we are. Thanks a bunch, guys. Tune in next time for more awesome motorcycle, modification, vehicle, adventure things. That's so beautiful.